Hello everybody, this is going to be a quick tutorial video on how I'm repairing and replacing my uh, hydraulic lines and high pressure water lines here at Coralville. Uh, first I want to talk about the materials I've been using. Uh, this first one is a sample of our 2325 PSI half inch hydraulic hose. Um, I believe this is pretty much standard what everyone's using across the board here. Uh, the half inch measurement is an inner dimension and uh, when you're uh, sourcing your hose, uh, it's very important that you know both the inner dimension and the outer dimension. Um, for example, this is a 5,000 PSI hose. I've been using this to replace my water lines to counteract the freezing and uh, breaking of my water lines here. Uh, as you can see, uh, inner dimension is the same. Exterior dimension is a little wider. So when you're uh, sourcing your fittings, make sure you're... Uh, Hose fittings will fit the, the hose that you're using here. Um, as you can see, this one fits on both sizes here, and with a little crimping here, it'll seal up uh, really good. As far as sourcing your materials, uh, you can purchase these uh, uh, on your own, uh, sourcing them online through Amazon, things like that. Uh, but I would say that it is best to uh, go to your local hydraulic shop, um, bring a section of the hose that you need, and they'll supply the hose and the fittings and make sure that everything that you have is compatible and ready to go. So, uh, first things first, uh, we're going to cut a new section of hose. Um, I've got my uh, hydraulic hose set up here on my uh, vice table here. And I'll be using my uh, little angle grinder here with the diamond blade. Obviously, safety first here since we are be will be cutting into steel here and it's going to shoot some sparks. So make sure you have your safety glasses available. And it's important that you get a nice, clean, even cut here, so take your time and work slowly. All right, so we've got our hose here cut to length. Nice even cut here for us. And our fitting will just uh, slide right on the end here. Kind of uh, make sure you push that all the way down so it's flush against the bottom here, it's like so. All right, I'm gonna set this to the side for a quick second and get out my crimping tool I've been using. All right, so this is a hydraulic crimping tool. It comes with uh, various assorted dies. Um, there's a manual that shows what dies uh, goes with what uh, hydraulic hose, but for the purposes of this video, we're gonna use the, the number 10 die, which is the yellow die in this setting, specifically made for half-inch hoses. Now, it is possible um, that we could use this for a smaller-sized hose to repair, like, our... Uh, our, our smaller uh, pressure washer lines, the 3 8 lines. That is not something that I've experimented with, but I believe that we have all the equipment to do that, if uh, that is something we could do going forward. So this operates pretty simply. It's got a, um, the dies just kind of pop in and out here, lock in at the bottom. There's a little key down here where the, the center pops in. Then these lock in on the side, and our top yoke. Oops. Ah, it does the same thing here. That just pops in there. So when I'm setting this up, I'll kind of set it vertically like so, and uh, set my hose fitting right in top. Close that, I'll lock it up with this pin here. There we go. And you wanna line it up kinda of with the rear of the yoke there. Make sure you get a nice firm crimp. There is a, uh, sorry, there is a, uh, a perforation on these. This is the top, the highest you could crimp. You don't wanna crimp any higher than the, uh, the etched line there. So closer to the bottom, kinda of line it up to the bottom there and you should be good to go. So for this crimping tool, there's a uh, hydraulic lock here. Just uh, close the valve, make sure that's all lined up there. 
and you just kind of give this a few pumps once it tightens up there you can kind of finalize the the position on there now just lay it flat on the table and uh, give her about 15 20 pumps crimp it down nice and tight there All right, and then you'll see, once you've got it finished there, all of the dies kind of line up there, and they're all kind of caught on their selves. So that's, uh, that's uh, as much as you want to get it crimped. It, you can't really over-crimp it per se, because the dies don't allow it to go any farther. So once you kind of get to that max level there, you can kind of look at the yoke there and see, these are touching there, these are touching there, so this one is good to go. Uh, quick turn on the knob no no here, just to... Uh, Releases the pressure, pull it out, and you got a nice crimped fitting there. And uh, obviously repeat for the second side. I'm not gonna do that right now for the purposes of time. Um, I would recommend that you uh, um, test these crimps, especially on our hydraulic fittings. Uh, test, your, test your crimp before you implement them. Uh, I have been uh, testing them on my High pressure pump for my reclaim. I've got a short little like two foot hose there, which is quick and easy to take off. I could put on a new line, fire it up, check for leaks, make sure everything's good to go there before I'll uh, uh, install it on a hydraulic line. So one other thing I want to talk about here is I've got this uh, splicing tool here, and this is a uh, uh, reusable hose repair tool. Um, it is uh, no crimping required for this one here. So if you have like a longer line, like a, a high pressure water line that goes uh, underneath or a hydraulic line that's running back to your uh, conveyor and you've got, a, you've got a break in it that you could see and you can work on, um, this is a quick way to mend that temporarily while we're either sourcing a new hose or replacing a new hose or trying to feed one down through there. This will get you back up and running um, a lot quicker there while you're working on the rest of the problem here. So how this works, as you can see, it's got a reverse thread on the inside there. You'll get a section of hose. Um, obviously cut the, cut the bad part out on both ends so you got good clean uh, edges on either side. And this just kind of screws right on it's reverse threaded, so don't screw it up like I am right now. There we go. And uh, it screws tight. You can get a wrench to uh, tighten it up the rest of the way here. You just uh, kind of screw that on nice and tight till it's flush. And you can look on the inside. I don't know if you can kind of see that, but you can kind of see where it is. I got a little bit left to go there. So that locks in there. And then you've got uh, this next piece here, which kind of seats in there. And again, this tightens up until it kind of starts seating there. And this um, adds extra pressure onto the fitting there. And the experience that I've had with these, I haven't had any issues with leaking, I haven't had any issues taking them on or off. They're a really good product and really save a lot of time. So you can tighten this all the way flush and then repeat the process with the other side. And then these just kind of mate together there like that. Tighten it up and you've got yourself a nice spliced hose there. So um, that's about all I've got for my uh, uh, hydraulic tutorial there so I hope you guys find this helpful and uh, if you have any questions you can always reach out to me. All right, thank you very much.